I love this quote. The intellect always cuts and divides like a pair of scissors. The heart sews things together and unites like a needle. The tailor uses both. Today on Fit to Stitch, a tailor will show us how to shorten a man's suit sleeve. The mitered corner, the buttons, the button holes, even the lining, all those fun details. We will do a woman's suit sleeve too, but as we all know, men are much more difficult than women. Join us on Fit to Stitch. Fit to Stitch is made possible by Kai Scissors. Benno's Buttons. OC Sewing, Orange County. Vogue Fabrics. Pendleton. Imitation of Life. And Clutch Nails. I get so many questions about shortening a men's suit sleeve. There's details. And so I've turned to the professional and I've asked a professional tailor to really come in and help us because you've been doing this for how long? For almost 25 years. And from Ukraine, when did you start? Did you learn in Ukraine? Tell me that little history. I'm start from probably five years old oh. and was like a little girl. I was playing with my dolls, make outfits, play with buttons. Your outfits were probably way better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> so that was your yeah, beginning. This, this was my beginning then. Uh, you took it a little farther though. Yes, you went professional. I decided to be more professional and it was, was not only to do sewing stuff, but more like design clothes. And you went to design school. And I went to design school, right. yes. And exactly. you had a great class. It was best three years of my life. All yeah, in I Ukraine. got a lot of experience. You learned it's all of that, all and of so us, it was yeah. very detailed. And then you came here? Yeah, and I've been working like a tailor. <laughs> you had <laughs> professional shop? Professional ever... shops, yeah. yeah. We, we did a lot of alterations, a lot of custom made. Mm -hmm. And like many, many years later, I figured out I can open my own store. <laughs> and you have your own place and it's beautiful. And I've been there many times and you're busy all the time. All the time, <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually, it's crazy. So this suit sleeve, the reason I have such an issue with it is there's just details I don't know about it. So I put, I put one here on the mannequin. If we could just talk about, first off, lengths. Like, what is the appropriate length? Um, it's a uh, men's suits, they have gentleman rules. Okay. Uh, when you shorten sleeves, it's supposed to show at least half inch of your shirt under. Okay. Yeah. So a half inch is supposed to show yes, of the shirt. Yes, exactly. When you and do the, fitting, you need to wear shirt and a jacket on the top to okay. make it perfect length. So they can also ditch the shirt and just wear the jacket, and then the sleeves are a little longer, and a little shorter, and that's okay. Yeah, it's all fine. So yeah. this is where we start. Usually, half inch. men's sleeves it's much shorter than women's sleeves. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit different, only okay. because it's supposed to be like this. It looks great. I mean, yeah. it's a really nice look. It's a beautiful oh, yeah, look. Yeah, yeah. And it's, you do it's lots of these. professional and like a business. So this is style. where we start. Yeah, when we have line to shorten. Okay. Um, and we've marked this, you're going to shorten it how much? Uh, in this case, we need to shorten one inch. Okay. Uh, because we shorten, like, it's not a lot, but it's enough. It does make a difference because if it's too long, it makes the man look like he's oh, yeah. in his daddy's no, clothes it's, it's, or something. <laughs> sometimes even quarter make a difference, you know, does it's it? like, yeah. So see, this is where I would panic because I would look at where that needs to go and I would look at that button and I would say, uh-oh, what am I going to do? Buttons, it's uh, complicated stuff because sometimes they open, sometimes they just fake. Sometimes they are, yeah. have been cut. The it button had been hole cut. has yes, been cut exactly, open. Yes. Okay. And and this jacket, it's not cut, thanks God. Uh, we can remove them all, 
You can remove the buttonholes? Yes, we can. We, it's what Do you we remove them all? Couldn't you just remove that bottom one? <laughs> I'm not a professional. Sometimes we can remove just one button buttonhole and just keep three buttons with three buttonholes. Oh, okay, it's, because it's, you don't have to have four. Yes, yes. <gasps> I it's, like it's, that. It's in this situation we can do just one button, okay. or we can remove whole buttons, button holes, and leave like okay. four buttons on. So yeah. step one is to mark it. Yeah. Figure out where you're gonna go. Yeah. Next step, when we have uh, all our pins here, like inch shorter. Okay. We need to make it flat. And this one I noticed it actually does have that mitered corner. Yeah. We need to open all stuff okay. like include lining include corners um steam it to make it flat okay and one important thing mm -hmm. don't forget about lining pull it inside make sure you didn't cut this part you know when you cut yeah that sounds itself. like a good mistake i might make make yeah. sure push it up and out of the yeah, way yeah, yeah yeah because you can cut not like too, too much sure. <laughs> then you need to extend first of all we do we mark line where we're gonna fold it okay this is gonna be our new finish line right here okay um i usually leave two inches for oh and you use a ruler that's two inches wide yes so it just makes it easy we, for you it's make it easy it's more professional <laughs> yeah i don't need to like measure every step that's you know smart. this line we need to cut okay this estate's gonna be new line for um slip all right yep then you need to mark this all around two inches so i'm going to clarify something mm -hmm. because you're shortening the jacket more than you cut off but that's because ready to wear doesn't um, leave as much hem every, as what you every like every manufacturer has some own rules okay my store <laughs> yeah, you has do my own inches. rules, yeah. And I, and I like why you said that you do that, because and why? I leave two inches, because sometimes uh, if something happened, we need to make slip mm. longer, Yeah, we have room to play. Okay, Yeah, I think that's a great yeah. reason. We all know that those of us who sew, we know we make little yes, adjustments. Yes, but we, sometimes we are it, not, we are not it's perfect. It's not even you. Sometimes it's the you. customer who then yeah. says, no, I want to, you know, no, a little yeah, bit. He, he can wear thicker uh, short under yeah. and sleeves go up. Yeah. He says, oh, I need to make them yeah. longer. Okay, next step we're doing, we need to put interfacing inside because okay. we cut some part and to make it sleeves looks, looks nice when it's finished. We always add interfacing because it, it's still have something mm -hmm. but it's not enough mm -hmm. uh, we need to come back to steamer okay i'll follow you yeah and i have prepared interfacing it's sometimes it's like jacket have lighter color darker color color you can use according to what i noticed is your interfacing is it comes like this like on a roll yes it's professional okay <laughs> yeah. that's really it's i mean make makes my, it my, my work much easier when it's already much cut. faster much because faster, i'd have yeah. to get out my yard and cut yeah. and do all that Ooh. yeah and we put interface all around okay under the seams under the seams because okay. also we, we can need to let out slip or taper in a sure. Put interfacing on a, on a slit, it will be much harder. But I've also noticed, and I know you are a professional, but you have the patience to do it the right way. You don't ever skip. I have good teachers before in my so life. So good yeah. examples. They're, they're good examples, yeah. I've been working with some famous designers in Ukraine, plus I have some experience. And mm -hmm. my masters was also, like, they teach me to be patient with this stuff. Yeah. But you have a lot of pride in your work too. Yes, you, you, you need to love this to, to do this. You need to love it, I like that. Yeah. All right, when we put interfacing, we need to fold it and follow the line we have uh, for finish line. All right, let's do this quick. And you need to follow the line, not yeah. like, yeah. Yeah, it is amazing how that chalk really helps. A lot of times I've used pins 
and the pins don't really make a line that it can go to one side of the pin. When you oh, go yeah. to fold it, it can fold to one side of the yeah. pin or the other, and that chalk really helps you. I think this, this way it's much more Get easy. A straighter line. Yeah, yeah. You can put pin right here just to keep it stay. Okay. Then we come back to, to here. And tricky part. It is a the, tricky part. This one, it's very hard and complicated. They have that word in Ukraine too, tricky part. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is the tricky part. Every tailor has his own way to do this, but uh, after 25 years experience, I found fastest way and easiest way to do. Yeah. Now technically, not on this one, but, oh, I see you undid the button. Yeah, oh. I did one button hole. So you can, because it's not cut, you can just carefully undo that. Yeah, with, yeah, let with me your show you. Tiny it's, it's, scissors. it's usually buttonholes finish with chain stitch. Okay. It's just basically if you found right thread, oh. you pull it and it's all undone. That's yeah. a let great me, tip. Let me show you some tricks. You see, I'm already found some of them. You see how easy it is? Yeah. Oh like, my goodness. Boom. And it's all that clear. That is amazing. Yes. And we have like, all of them. That's it. But so it's, you charge it's, to it's, remove it's, it's not every time like this. Sometimes okay. it's so complicated it took like forever to remove them. So you can say them. to the customer to remove the buttonhole, I'm going to charge you $10 a buttonhole. And it takes you. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. That was a great trick. Exactly. Yeah. Sometimes would you remove them all just so that to make sure your buttonholes look the same? Is it hard to get your buttonholes to look like the buttonholes that are on the suit when you start? Um, so what typically, you if you take, if you decide that you've got to take away one buttonhole, you'll just leave three. Yes. But let's say you decide to take them all. all. Mm -hmm. Would you take them all because your, your buttonholes wouldn't match? Or can you duplicate that buttonhole with just a zigzag? It, most likely people never ask to put them back. Oh. Yeah, we basically just finish slits and put just the buttons without buttonholes. Oh, holes. without the buttonholes. Without buttonholes, yes, exactly. That's legal yeah. too. Oh yeah, okay. it's, it's even some jackets they sell without buttonholes. That's just a great the buttons, option. Yes. Yeah, that's a great that's option. That's why it's, it's in eighty percent uh, situations we remove buttonholes. I see, and just leave them. And sometimes when it's cut buttonholes, it's no other option only shorten sleeve from the top. We cut holes this thing. I didn't just hear move. that. Yeah. You're gonna have to say that again. If you can't shorten the bottom, you if you can't shorten the bottom, you take the whole sleeve out of the top. We, we, yes, we take whole sleeve out of the. We don't have time for that. Today. Yeah, but okay. we don't have time for that. It's it's and it's really complicated. Yeah, it's a little more work. Yeah, you see, when we're done this part, you see how how straight it. Is. Sure. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, we can put also pin here. It's really beautiful. Yes, and turn this back. And come back to the machine. Now it's gonna be magic here. Okay, this is really magic. Yeah, this is really magic. You have one side straight here. Okay. And another side is folded. And we need to recreate this line. The diagonal, the diagonal miter. line. Yeah. Yes. This one is very easy. You just basically put pin okay. on your folded line. Got it. Put it this under. Machine, sorry, I usually do professional okay. machine. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. And we have small scissors. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This part is very easy. You just fold it. Exactly. You're just basically taking like a little half inch seam, a little eighth of an inch seam allowance, maybe, or even smaller, just on the edge. Just, just a small one, maybe like a quarter from the edge. So just right sides together. You're yeah. zipping up the side. Oh my gosh, why it's always happened. <laughs> That's okay. It's no big deal. Yeah. She'll thread it and we'll show you just how. The sewing isn't hard. It's just knowing where to sew from where to sew. The sewing itself is not hard. When you know, it's not hard. It just needs to be a lot of patience and yeah. definitely need to love this. Yeah, you see, I make this stitch. But you're still dressing dolls. They've just grown up bigger and they're called your daughters. Oh, yeah. And her friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I have bigger dolls. <laughs> I have all these mannequins inside my shop. It's my new toys. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We stitch this part. 
Okay, so that one side is this just straight is up and straight up. To go. It's, yeah, it's ready to go. We okay. just pull it over. Oh, that looks so clean and yeah, so nice. Yeah, we can use and you didn't some cut special anything away. Tools. No, I didn't. I never cut because if I need to make longer, I need yeah. to keep all this fabric inside. Yeah. And now is magic here. To make this line. What do you need? Mar uh, chuck Your marker? Yeah, okay. marker. I'm a tailor's assistant now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because this line, it's supposed to be from here to here, right? Right. That's why we need just this corners right here. And you're actually mark. marking the top and the bottom layers just together. A, just top and the bottom, yeah. You see, okay. it's, like, it's like this. Okay. Then it and the very corner. corner. So, oh, so you know which two to bring together. Yes. Look at this. <gasps> then we so put smart. pin exactly in the... At the full line or at the, exactly at the corner, edge of the corner. corner yes, okay. in the corner. And put and these two marks two together. together. Oh my goodness gracious. Yes, exactly. Put these two marks this together. This is like genius. I know there's Einstein and I know there's all those others. Can this is better. Uh, what do you need? Ruler. Yep. Yeah. And you actually mark the stitch line. You don't even eyeball it. You are professional. Yeah. <laughs> Usually I just stitch this part, but uh, for people who are just learning stuff, they can use the they, ruler. They, they, can, they can use the ruler and, and make this line, you know, like this. Yeah. And stitch it. Okay. Let me see. So you would recommend if you're newer to make the stitch line to, with the to chalk? To make the stitch, stitch line, because yeah. it, it's not easy for people, you know, to make exactly straight line. It's like I like, didn't do this every day. For me, it's, it's easy. And I've actually watched you, and this is like, a, you're just amazing how fast you are. You're I going think slower I, I, for I us think, today. I think I'm doing slow, slow because it's... That's because you're for us. Yeah. You're doing it for us, so thank you. I don't know why. Even machine doing slow. <laughs> That's okay. It'll get there. Yeah. Like and this. you do a little back stitch in the beginning yes. and a little back stitch the at back the end. Back stitching from the beginning and on the end. Make sure okay. it's not gonna open. And see, I love this because you don't even cut that off. No. I, Again, I, just. I, I never cut anything only if I really, really need it. You don't need but to. Sometimes to it's a thick fabric. You can cut it. You gotta show that. You're, o you're opening that up. Yes, I open it. You don't fold it to one side or another? No, you, I didn't okay. fold I put this on two sides of this Perfect. corner. Exactly <gasps> like this, yeah. Look at this. And pull ah, it. Ah, I love it. Yeah, right here. And you can use some special tools, tool to make this cor corner more pointed, you know, like this. To make it lay flat, kind yeah, of. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then we come back to steamer. We need to steam this, so steamer is the best help for Taylor. It, yeah, yeah, because sometimes you can do something wrong, but steamer always help you <laughs> to fix it this really problem. Yeah. Isn't it amazing what yeah, a little bit of yeah, steam yeah. can do? I cannot live without steamer. It just, I would it's agree. Always. And it looks more finished and professional when you steam every step of your That's work a good here. point. Yeah. yeah, that's a great point. Yeah. Don't, don't be lazy in that process. Exactly, yeah. Don't be lazy because it's very important. Look, it's right exactly even. Yeah, yeah. Let me, yeah, like this. See, just wow, that's so pretty. You know, I like the idea that you don't have to put those buttons back on, button just holes. the button holes. Yes, button, button holes. Yeah. Sorry, not the buttons. Yes, yeah. simply because a lot of them don't even have button holes in the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, it's just the perfect line right here. Okay, that's what we did. Oh, that was really good. Yeah, bad. straight. Then I usually put pin right okay. here because you need to stitch this opening together inside, make sure it stays together. The lining now. Not lining, it's just uh, this part. Because you see, it's still open. Okay, I right, see. Right, right, right here, it's not supposed I gotcha. to be like this. So where the we two come to, together, there's yeah, a little closure. We need to just put little stitch like Got it. inside. And you see, it's still gonna look like it's open. But it's but just going to be on the inside. The in like can that. you hand do that if you don't want to do it on the machine? E yes, you can do by hand if you don't want to do it machine. But yeah, for me, it's much easier to do machine. A little faster. <laughs> a little faster, exactly. Sometimes you just you know what needs to go together, but you're not sure of how to get to it with the machine. Yeah. yeah. And you're just doing a little backstitch there. Just yeah, keep just backstitch. Just keep this together. OK. Yeah. You see, it's, now it's going to stay. Yeah, now it's held in. Yeah. Close. Right, and next step I usually um, doing by hand inside stitches 
just also to keep this together, make sure it doesn't open on the... You know, and the, I, when you told me this stuff initially, I thought to myself, like, you don't really need that. But I've, I've gone around and noticed men's mm -hmm. jacket, they all have them. It's like... They all have usually them. Usually, manufacturers, they just teach this middle seam, like inside seam. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. it. But uh, for me, it looks more professional and finished when we do... Let's skip that for yeah, now, though. Yeah, ju just this Let's stitch, just show yeah. the lining, yeah. yeah. Just for the sake of time. So we're just going to hem it all the way around. Yeah, we, we need to Perfect. do it all the way around. Okay. So and we'll actually stay now. Up we now. have all this. It stay all together. Now we need to come back to lining. Okay. And cut lining. All right. You need to fold you. Do you reduce the lining? Could you count on reducing the lining? Oh no, you have a secret for this. Oh, I love this. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> See, this is all the parts that I worry about because I yeah. think, okay, now how just much make, do Just make sure it's it's straight. Make okay. sure it's not crooked inside. Okay. Just check it. Check the lines because you see this seam and this seam is here. Okay. Same on the back. You okay. put it flat. Make sure the sleeve is, the lining is not twisted. It's not, very not, easy not to get twisted, it twisted. Not like you pull yeah. it more or less. Right. Usually I leave like a quarter of the inch. So Extra that's a quarter from, inch longer. From the longer than uh, sleeves original. Okay. Yeah. Then Those are just, just really easy things to know, standards. You don't really have to worry about the difference. You just need to know how much longer one yeah. is than the other. Sometimes it, it's enough to just to see one time how, it, mm -hmm. how it's process. I agree. Then it's Absolutely. easy to, especially for people who know at least something about so right. you can know. And then you just go inside and, and hem it all the way around. Yeah. Then then we're going inside, open. I want you to show us women's. <laughs> okay. The open, open. Usually it's always, it's always uh, seam here. You can open it. Usually left sleeve. Have you f noticed? Or is in the men's suits, both sleeves have opening. Oh, they do. Yes. So just because Because men's sleeves attach, lining attached to the armhole. Okay. You cannot go through like all stuff. Oh, and, cool. In men's suits, it's both sleeve has opening. So that really makes it much easier. Yeah. So you can go inside. Again, check seams. Make sure it's yeah, those same seams. seam. You twist a sleeve if you twist you it, you cannot get your arm down yes, there. Yes, exactly. This is really yeah. cool. Yeah, and you I stitch, it, these men. stitch it all around. These men. Yeah, all so right. I think I want to go to women. I want it's you. much easier. <laughs> it's much easier. I know yeah. we showed men's all the hard men stuff. Yeah. Okay, so what we're starting with is like kind of a sporty jacket. Yeah, even, it's a kind of sporty jacket. Let's just take a look at this yeah, one, sure. just because it's not. It's it's got lining, but it's a sporty jacket. So yeah. there's no buttons and buttonholes, and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, just a straight sleeve all around and it's a good thing it's have top stitches you don't need to do it by hand from inside to put it like hold it together you know see it's not oh because this yeah can see, do, be all done on the yeah, machine yeah. i see you can do this all so you the start machine. by taking that all down yes we, which we, you've done we, i open sleeve okay then we mark exactly how much we need to shorten okay leave two inches and is there a rule on women's that's any different than men as far as the right length I yes mean, they're a little bit different they longer and length supposed to be like three quarter from this point. So just like the bend in your finger yes, there. Yes, yes, exactly. Okay. It's how I do it. Okay. Like, and again, some, yeah, some people women. ask longer, some people ask shorter. They want to show bracelets, they want to do shorter. Yeah, But yeah. it's, yeah, but That's rule, kind of rule, rule, it's, yeah. Okay. And again, I always leave two inches to be sure for, for these sleeves. So you go through that same process. Same but most process. of this can really be done on the machine. Yeah. And then you access it through that same, is there going to be that same seam yeah. on the inside? It should be. <laughs> Has there any, ever been a jacket where you couldn't find the seam? Yes. Uh oh, then what do you do? <laughs> then I open it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, here you just we, make, we have, we Oh, there you seam. go. Okay. And it's only one, in one sleeve. Okay. Because you can, it's, uh, uh, sleeves didn't attach to armholes. That's oh, why this I is make amazing. Yeah. Give us the best tip you know as a tailor. What's the um, best tip you know? Be patient. Oh, that is Just a good one. Just be patient. One. That's a really good one. And you need to do this with all your heart. Oh, I love that. It's no way if you hate something, you you, you cannot. Thank you so much for showing us today. Yeah, you're welcome. I really appreciate Thank it. You. She, you guys just can't imagine the work she does. So you heard it straight. Be patient and love what you do. I think those are the two best words of wisdom I can even imagine. Dry cleaning is a service that many of us use. But what is it? We'll learn about what happens to our clothes behind that counter next time on Fit to Stitch.
Fit to Stitch is made possible by Kai Scissors. Benno's Buttons. OC Sewing, Orange County. Vogue Fabrics. Pendleton. Imitation of Life. And Clutch Nails. To order a four DVD set of Fit to Stitch Series 10, please visit our website at fittostitch.com.